Hello, everybody. Ty Kimes here, your Missouri Blue Star Families Chapter Director. You guys, it is Blue Star Welcome Week, and I am just over the moon excited because today I have a special guest. That it just, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm not even going to, you guys, I can't even talk because I'm so excited, right? I have on with me today a cast member of the Lion King musical, Mr. Lemoy. Hedrington. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so oh, much for joining me. And thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so and I mean you're you're Simba. So I'm like, yes. I know. I know how that even happened. I don't even know how it happened. Um yeah. <laughs> Just you know, especially coming from the Caribbean, like I've had, you know, Lion King on my vision board for years. For five years, I think, on my vision board. And it always presented itself in different ways. Like, you know, I was in a dance company in Ohio, and the, the company members came to our um, studio to take class with us, or I went to see the show and tour, or I listened to the music. It was always popping up. And then, you know, I went off the limb and was like, you know, I'm just going to audition for it. I'm going to go to London and just have a two-week holiday, make it a vacation. So if I get cut, I'll just stay over there and drink some tea and eat some fish and chips <laughs> and make it a good thing, and a good day, you know? And I made it through and here I am now. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. I love it. And you're like, here I am now. And I'm like, yes, yes, you are. You are there. I love it. And I mean, you're a military brat. So tell us about that too, because, and, and you know, I'm a military brat. I, I, I hold that. That's a badge of honor in, in my books. I know we kind of giggled in the preview uh, before we started recording about what that was like kind of growing up as a military brat. But tell me, tell the audience, how was that for oh my you? Gosh. Okay, well, you know, in the Caribbean anyway, um, mothers especially are very strict anyway. So I had that, plus my mom was in the National Guard um, as a sergeant. And she was a police officer, okay, in the, in the Virgin Islands. So it was just like a bam, bam, bam. Um, cleaning on Saturdays, especially Saturdays, was just intense. You know, um, it was very detailed, always some chores, and it had to be immaculate, you know, always done right. Um, me and my brother was like, okay, so you do this, I'll do this. And before mom gets home, we have to make sure it's all done, complete. The bed, oh my God, the bed, the bed. <laughs> the you gotta get those tight. corners right, yes. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> the, the math about it, okay, I mean, the algebra, I'm like, so... <laughs> Like, how, how do we work this out? Um, but no, it was honestly, but all that made my work ethic as an adult just really blossom because I had no, I had nothing, I didn't know anything else. You know, I was like, okay, this is how it is. Focus and determination and just making it work, you know? So military brat it is. Whoop, whoop. Yes, hashtag. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I love that. I know, like, who knew? Like, Simba is a military brat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he is. Honey. I love that. See, so all of you military kids that are watching right now, see, you yes. can really dream and be anything, anything. anything so just dream yes. at, go for it. And I'm going to let Lemoy tell you more about that. So, yes, yes. yes. So, Lemoy, okay, many, 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 many military families, I got tongue tied. <laughs> Our military families, they're traveling all over the world. I grew up in Germany. I told you about my lion that's from oh, Germany yes. as well as a gift. Um, so what's it like for you traveling all over the world? Oh, um, okay. So let me start from the, from the, from the beginning, honey. Okay. Um, so when I was 15, yeah. Um, so this is how I even got into dance and into traveling. Um, so when I was 15, a dance company came from Philadelphia, Koresh Dance Company, came to St. Thomas. And I was like, what is going on on this stage? What is this? What is going on? You know, I'm being from the Caribbean. We, we're not exposed to those things, you know? We know our folk dance and, you know, our Caribbean music, soca music, Destra, Alice and Hines. So we know all that stuff. But coming down, seeing contemporary dance, ballet, and also seeing men, men doing it. It was just like, wow, my mind was blown. So I begged my mother to move to the States and she said no. <laughs> She said no. Um, and then the next following year, I was like, please, can I just, please just go and see what happens. She was like, okay, you can move with your sister to Atlanta and see what happens. And 
my the culture shock was just my mind was like taking in so much information to see I'm going into, I'm going to go into this community now the gay community of being so open you know in the Caribbean that's not a thing so I was just taking that in seeing men dance seeing dance in general you know and then it was schools for this performer at school what you can go to school to sing dance and act what is going on where have i been like i've been wasting time <laughs> you know so i um i got into a school at 16 the cat school of the arts for my last year of high school and um i was rough okay my teachers were like okay so you have no feet no flexibility you have no okay where can we start? I'm like, do whatever you need. I was taking ballet classes with the five-year-olds at a different school, like after-school program, because I was like, I need to be good. And that's where the military brat thing comes in. You know, you really want to push forward. Um, and I just had a vision of me just being on stage and, you know, performing for the masses. And that's all I wanted to do. So whatever I had to do, I was doing that. So then I went to Atlanta. I went to um, join a dance company in Ohio. So that's another state I went to join. And then with that company, the, um, Dayton um, Contemporary Dance Company, we traveled to China and Korea and South America and that um, seeing different cultures and then seeing kids see me the way I saw dance. That's where I was like, okay, I'm in this for a bigger reason. You know, it's not about me. So sometimes when we dream, we think of, we just see ourselves in the, in the motion, like, oh, me, 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 me. And it's like, oh, actually it's not about me. It's actually about these people I'm connecting with, you know? And so when you see kids like, wow, cool. And it's like, I felt that feeling. So I'm so thankful to share this. So when I do travel, I, that's, I'm connecting with these humans, you know, these beings of just wanting to be themselves in any fashion possible. It was just so liberating for myself being a Caribbean kid inside, you know? And so when I joined Norwegian Cruise Lines and I got to go to Greece and Barcelona and um, Venice, and just, again, meeting these people, not just people who are interested in the arts, but people who are interested about just being open and free. It was like, wow, we're all in this connecting line of like wanting to showcase ourselves, you know, and dreaming big, you know, if they want to open a bread company or a hat company, do it. Why not? That's what I learned about traveling. Everyone's on the same page, but we're afraid, you know, it's a lot of fear that's being, you know, conditioned in us that we don't always um acknowledge we feel it but we never acknowledge it but um yeah that's what really got me love traveling was connecting to people i love it i love it and that's something that's familiar for me and i mean we have six hundred thousand military families that are moving every year and so just mm. think about all the people that you would meet and if you're right. the civilian that's in that area that's you know you're kind of stationed there i mean right you get to meet the military family. So again, that's yeah. what Blue Star Welcome Week is about. So getting out yeah. there, connecting and meeting people. I mean, wow. And it's just being just inspired. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, uh, you can learn so much from just people just talking, you know, just like, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm not the only one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right? Yeah. And I think we all need to realize we're not the only one. We're so the only one. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So speaking about people and, and you did share, you know, that you are a black gay Caribbean man, which is fantastic that you are so true to who you are. And, you know, we have a mutual friend who I had shared and she told me that ever since you know, the very beginning, when she had met you, you were always into the arts and always into music yeah. and just following your passions. And I did kind of notate too, like making it into a vision. You talk a lot about putting like a vision, making it a vision board. Because that's yeah. something that's really good too. But can yeah. you tell us what what message would you have for others regarding being true to who you are? Oh, girl. Okay, let me fix my hat because <laughs> this is gonna be okay. Um, give yourself a chance. That's that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing I can say. Give yourself a chance. Don't shut yourself off because it's very easy. You know, when we're, we're in this place of like things have to happen now, you know, you have your family who's like, hey, when are you going to get, when are you going to do? And so we, we, we um, put ourselves aside, you know, um, but you have to become positively selfish, if that makes sense. Um, so whenever your heart speaks, the heart is a very, you know, the heart does a lot. Okay. <laughs> it does a lot of work. So, in, um, so you have to make sure you listen to that and that comes first, you know? So anytime you have a dream, the only way it can work if your heart is 
working, you know, and that's your spiritual heart. That's your, your, you know, mental heart. That's your physical, like it literally is like all your alignment. And that has to be in, um, that has to be noticed by you. Not from anyone else. There's people going to come in like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. Yes, but that's not going to work or mean anything if you don't think so yourself, you know? Um, I do a lot of times what and the people is like, oh, it's so vain. But look at yourself. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're beautiful, you know? You're beautiful. You know what? Damn it. You're beautiful. Oh my gosh. And and if it's if it's your shirt today, I like my shirt. Small, small things. Oh, I like my hat today. And that's not being vain. That's just loving who you are. When you present yourself to the world, the world needs to know that you love you. You know? And it starts from you before you leave the house. You know? You wake up like, oh my gosh, I love my eyes. You know? And so when people say true to yourself, and people make it sound like a brave thing why am i brave for being true no 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 this is just my journey of like discovering who my person is and that's why when i teach i ask these kids to say their names i'm like what's your name jessica say it louder say it louder i'm jessica yes because you're the only jessica last name it is in the world so you should stand in that because my name is lamoy leon hedging tough from the virgin islands and i love that and i say that with pride and not because i'm vain or uh, i'm this no, because I know what I give. I know what I bring. And every one of you, all of us, we bring something different to the world at all times. We have a different voice. And when we speak, some speak in a melody, some speak with a very high voice, some have a bass, you know, and we all bring that into the soup, you know, to make it very nice, a nice gumbo, honey. Okay. Um, and we can, okay. So we have to know what seasoning we're bringing to the table. Honestly, we have to, our seasoning is good. And if they don't want it, they will go to the next restaurant, and that's fine. If someone wants to go to the next place, that is okay, because you will have your own um, people, who, followers. You'll have your own people who, you know, I like your energy. I love what you bring, and that's great. If it's two, it's two strong people who believe in you, and you have to be okay with that, because it has to start with you. If you love you, if it's just you for the rest of you, it is just you, because you're so strong in what you bring and, and, and believe in that no one else can shake that, you know? Um, and always work on you because you're not going to be perfect. No one's perfect. No one is. You're going to have your days of crying and going through and listening to Celine Dion girl like, oh, Bob, Bob, I know. I got it. Okay. I know. Um, <laughs> I know. However, in those times, take your failures as well as learning curves. Okay. I should have turned to the left and so I'm going to go right and take two steps. Maybe I need to go back and turn to going back. is not a bad thing. Going back, reassessing. Okay, here we are. I'm back, you know, and it's okay to, it's really okay to make mistakes. That's all, that's the only way you're going to figure out how to be your true self, not just being yourself, being your true self. That's a different thing, you know, and love it. Why not? I always say to my friends, why not? Why not love me? What? Do you see what? No. Do you, you know, don't question it. Once, when you love yourself, you're never going to question. Yes, I love me. And when someone comes to you, like, you're amazing. I know. Thank you. I know. Because I can, and it's not, again, it's not even being vain, but you know what you bring to the equation. So yes, thank you so much. I know. Oh my God. I love my smile. Thank you for telling me that. I know. I know. I love my smile as well. I love it. You know? So do your, do your work for yourself. Being positively selfish. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I'm sitting here. I'm like, this is so much good tea to sip on. So all of you like watching, I mean, take notes. This is so good. It's so good for the adults. It's so good for our families. I mean, mm. Lamoy, yeah. I love it. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing. I'm just, of course. <laughs> yes. I know dream is too big. <laughs> I know dream is too big. Yes. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. So what do you love about being Simba? Oh gosh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Um I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, okay, let me just slow down so my heart cannot like get too much because yeah, I'm a girl, okay? Um so again, let me being from the Caribbean, um a lot of things are told to you that you cannot do. Okay. Then being black on top of that, being gay on top of that, it's like also oh, <laughs> you from the Caribbean, you can't do it. Now you black and gay, you definitely can't do nothing. Um so when the when God or whoever you believe in the universe or when it was presented to me, <laughs> um, I didn't know if I was ready, but they knew I was ready, you know. So I had to take on the um 
I had to own up to it. You know, I asked for this. This is what I prayed for. This is what I put on my vision board. So when I was, so I started Lion King in 2018 as a dancer. Um, I still dance in the show as well. Um, so I started as an ensemble dancer, Gazelle, Gazelle track. And um, six months in, they were like, hey, Lamoy, would you love to, we remember you singing in the audition. Would you like to try out for Banzai, the hyena, principal hyena? So, oh yeah, sure. So then I became on the study Banzai. So I was doing Gazelle and then I'll do on the study Banzai when Banzai principal was out. So then they had um, in-house auditions for principal covers. And I was like, ah, uh, okay, should I sign my name up? Should I put Simba? Like, who am I to think I can portray this role in the biggest musical in the world? Who am I, this little island boy? And literally my right hand went up by itself. And I was like, excuse me, what are you doing? And it went to the paper. And I was like, oh, w- wait a minute. And it signed Lemoy Hedgington auditioning for Simba. And I was like, excuse me, right hand. Wow. W- what happens? Okay. And then two days later, I got an email saying, we would like you to come into audition. Um, again, you know, no, I had to have a big conversation with myself the day before the audition. I was like, Lemoy, this is what you asked for. And this is when it comes to talking to yourself. Um, you're not being crazy. You're just making sure you're, you know, you're acknowledging your feelings. I'm like, okay, I heard this, this, um, this lady told me this in New York, Tina Thompson from Skin Dance Company. She said, Lemoy, when you enter a space, shift the atmosphere. Okay. I will never forget that. And this is for a side note. All of us shift the atmosphere when we enter a room. Hence why, you know, things happen or are being set because we always shift the atmosphere when we enter a room. Okay. Cause our being is so grand that you just shift. Okay. Anyway, so I, I was like, no more, you have to go tomorrow and just shift the atmosphere because if you don't show them who you are, they're going to say, thank you so much, but thank you, you know? Um, so I went in there, I was like, listen, I'm just going to lay it all on the table. I sang my face up, I cried because there's, the, the story of Simba is so deep, okay? Um, I cried in this night and then I had to do the love scene with Dala. That was, ah, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I just cried my face up and now I have to be in love. Like, <laughs> what is happening? Um... So then I went back two days later. I did the final um, audition with the New York creative team. Um, they came over from Broadway. And then a week later, I got the email saying I'll be the first cover of Simba on in London. And it's funny, rewinding back, my second contract on Norwegian Cruise Lines, I was on Norwegian Sky. And I was like, you know, I want to move to London. So I got myself a computer laptop case that, that said London on it. And I look at it now like, Wow, years later now, I, that was in 2015. Three years later, I am now in London playing Simba. What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Um, And so I literally call my mom all the time. I talk to her every day. I'm like, mommy, I just want to make you proud. She's like, no, but you, like, Lamoy, once you left St. Thomas saying that you want to do this, and I see that you're doing it, and I was so blessed to then fly my mom out to London and the cruise ships to come with me to Mexico and the Bahamas and you know for her to then experience those trips with me I would I can't I can't even explain it but um you know to give back to my fa- my mom and my family it's just like wow but yeah Simba is just I am still in sh- like last week I played him I was um on for some shows I'm just like I can't I still I still can't believe I still can't believe my little set my little set and when people open the booklet and they see hometown Virgin Islands. I'm like, wow, I am from the Virgin Islands doing this. You know, so I'm so honored. I'm honored. Wow. I love it. I mean, I've seen your pictures and I mean, just looking at the photos that I've seen, it's just beautiful. Oh my my gosh. gosh. And I was just like, oh, and then I share, I did, I told you I shared with my sister's uh, and so I shared the book, and I'm like, haha, I'm having tea with Tommy Simba. <laughs> right. They're here. like, what? Oh my gosh. And so, of course, of course, I had to share some of your photos as yeah, well. Of course. So, for those of you watching, don't worry, we'll share how you can see those photos as well. It's just beautiful, right. it's just beautiful Thank form, and just everything. So, I'm so Thank happy. You. So, so, what do you admire about the character or you know just your your music partners your cast partners other cast mm. members and the lion king story overall oh gosh okay ah! okay so going to um lion king i was like okay so i'm moving to london see what happens you know with the show when i discovered most of the cast were from the caribbean like trinidad and barbados sin martin um, I was like, what? My people over here doing the do? Ah, uh, 
you know, Nala, who plays the principal, Nala, she's from um, Trinidad. Her name is Janique Charles. She's insane. She's amazing. So talented. And um, I, when I came, I was like, I am, I applaud you. I don't even know what to say to you. And she was like, looking at me like, what's going on? I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm being creepy. But I'm just so, oh my, oh, I'm just over the moon to know a principal. You're not even an understudy. The principal now who's outside on the picture on the board of her in the, you know, in the position, you know, in the commercials and the, ad, like, she's everywhere. Trinidad. And not even like, oh, her parents, no, she's like, she left yesterday and came, you know what I mean? Accent carnival vibes like she's full on like ah uh, so that just really inspired me even more to push you know and then the you know my castmates um the lady who plays Rafiki she opened the show in 1999 um and she's been doing it here she went on the US tour she did it in Shanghai she's done it in the Netherlands as well now she's back and I think she might be leaving in September to go back to the US tour but um Back home, where she's from South, um, South Africa, she's a Sangoma, which is kind of the same, kind of the same character as like Rafiki esque. And so, seeing her aligning that culture to the character every night, I am bawling my eyes out. I'm 33 years old, guys, okay? And I'm crying like a two year old child. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's just the music, you know, the orchestra, you know, the members from the orchestra, they mean. You know, they come and put all their essence in their violin, their piano, the same way the dancers put them in the moves, the same way the singers put it in their voice, the same way the actors come in and put it in the lines, and seeing the 2,000-plus people come every night that's booked out in the theater to see children have the same emotions as the, the adults and adults have the same... Like, you can see everyone in, um, experiencing the same thing. Yes, in different ways, because the story, of course, you know, it reflects in different ways for different people. But just to see everyone just engage in the story is just mind blowing. When we reopened the show um last Thursday on the what day was that? The twenty third? Um I had to I sat out and I watched the audience and just to see them their first time in our um the um the theater since we've been closed. It was just electrifying. Literally the the booth with the stage was shaking how much they were just like Lion King Lion King and, you know, we all just connected because we all, as artists, you know, in the show, we experience the same trauma at the same time, you know? So this is the first time we were sad together at the same time. We were lost at the same time. We were unfocused at the same time. So then being back in that space together, we were like, we're experiencing this at the same time. And that was powerful. And just being with them and being on the stage and just um, delivering the story of, of the Lion King, of people who, and it's just crazy because as much as it's animals, it's such a human story that people come back from when they saw it at six, they saw it at 13, and then they come back with their kids. Because they're like, no, my kids have to witness this story. And so I look at my cast and it's like, thank you. Thank you for helping myself and others experience this, this journey. You know, so I'm, um, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> I love it. I am all in the feels too, because, you know, I shared and I'll share for those of you watching. So this lion, when I graduated high school, I'm not going to say the year recorded on camera live, not gonna say the year. but my sister bought this line for me in our high school senior class. Our song was Hakuna Matata. So it definitely means so much. And so I just... Yeah. I love it. I love it. Lemoy, where can we see the show? I know that you're in London. Um, do you have any idea of where anyone stateside might be able to see the show? Yeah. Okay. So I think actually Broadway might be opening in September. So if you can have a trip um, safely, making sure you're safe, um, to New York um, to support the cast members on the Broadway cast of The Lion King, please do. Um, we were, of course, like I said, the New York creative teams come and um, cause we're the second Lion King in the world to open, reopen um, since the pandemic. So please go support the the members and the artists. But please, yeah, so New York, Broadway, go check them out. I'm sure they will love to see your bright smiles in the audience. Welcome them, you know, bringing them back to the stage. Yeah. I love it. And where can we go to support you? Oh, <laughs> um, well, you can come to the Lon um, London West End. Um, so basically, it's, you know, the Broadway over here. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, but yes, if not, um, you can find me on Instagram as well. I have a movement page, which is Lemoy underscore moves with a Z. And it's Lemoy underscore Leon 
as well. So if you want to support me that way, because I teach a lot, um, you can see my teaching videos, um, my little singing, uh, my single photos as well. Um, yeah, just to keep up. Um, and then I can let you guys know. We can have a little question and answer on my Instagram as well. But yeah. I love that. And for those of you watching, we're going to make sure that we notate that in the comment section um, so that you can have that to go and follow and just follow Mamoy. Give him more love and just follow Please, your I love love. love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so military brats, we, you know, that's one thing too. You know, it's always like, oh my God, like I would have never guessed that you were a military brat. And so learning yeah. that, like, oh. yeah. So that's that's a bond right there. It's like I'm not the only one with big dreams. You're not the only one. We're all in this together. <laughs> so okay. I love it. Yes, yes. So those of you watching, make sure that you check out the comment section so that you can see and follow. See where to follow Lemoy. Yes, I also please. want to kind of comment and let everyone know you might be kind of confused. So I'm talking about Blue Star Welcome Week and Lemoyne is mentioning some dates that by the time you watch it, it's going to have been passed. But because of his busy schedule, and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lemoyne, for taking the time. We had to schedule this in early to do the recording. So it is a little recording, um, but we're still going to be airing it live for you all. So Lemoyne, is there anything that you'd like to share that I haven't asked you or you haven't blessed us with? your answer okay. <laughs> um i'll say trust your voice i've heard that from a lady who and that's not even meaning with singing your voice is very powerful because the voice is your being of your of your soul you know you when you speak everyone knows that you're that's your voice you know Mamoy is speaking so believe in your voice um believe in your dreams because only you can um <laughs> Only you can go forward with your dream. It's your dream, you know, and don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it, no matter how big it is. Do the work, fail, fall, you know, and don't be afraid to, this is for me, Lemoy. okay? This is for me as well. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, it's very easy, and because you, you know, with a connection of being a military brat, you have so much connect, so many connections, and so many people who are there for you, who are backing you, and so don't forget about your support system, you know? Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is don't forget your voice. Your, your voice means a lot, especially in this time where, you know, we've been locked down. We've been, you know, trying to push through and forward through this pandemic. Um, so don't be afraid to say what you got to say, you know, um, say you love yourself, remind yourself like you are beautiful. Um, tell your family, I love you. Hi family. I love you. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, you know, give yourself a hug, give them a hug, give your friend, don't, even your coworkers, hey, you good? Okay, we're all on the same page, okay? Um, so yes, your voice is very powerful, so don't forget it, yeah. I love all of that, I'm telling you. I, usually, you guys who've been watching, we're beginning to five things, like five takeaways. Lemoy has like given us, like, I, I've lost count. <laughs> I mean, so many things since the very beginning. So I'm just so, so honored and thrilled. And I just, I, I can't wait to see you live one day. Oh my God, I can't wait. And who knows, maybe I'll see you when I go and take that trip to Virgin Islands. I don't know, that might happen. Okay, we can have some curry, go with some pizza, and rice and some kingfish. Okay, yeah. some planting. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So to all of our military families watching, I hope that you feel inspired watching this. And I want you to know that no matter where you are at in the world, there's always going to be an opportunity to connect. So, yes. you know, as we've heard from Lemoy's example, there's just so many good things. Lemoy, any final message to our military families watching? Okay. Stay connected, stay strong and just be you. Okay. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So thank you. Thank you for all of you that are not a member of Blue Star Families. Um, make sure that you do join us. You go to bluestarfam.org. Just click on that link when you go to the website, bluestarfam.org, and click on the join link. You can sign up and register. Member Membership is free. And you can be active duty military, you can be a veteran, you can be a uh, National Guard member, active duty, um, Air Force, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, just join us, join us. You can be a civilian member who wants to support a military family. So make sure that you join bluestarfam.org 
and like and share this video comment make sure you follow Lemoy as well i am just so <laughs> thrilled and honored and i can't wait to see you guys too at the zoo because we're going to be at the st louis zoo on sunday september 26th so you guys that are showing you'll get some goodies there and um just a sneak peek at some of the goodies you get <laughs> but lemoy thank you thank you i'm so excited can't, i can't thank, thank you, you enough so for much your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am Ty Kimes, your Missouri Blue Star Families Chapter Director, doing my best to tie you to your community. We'll see you all later, friends. Goodbye.